Hey, hello, your second travel flow of Corolla, a couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at, uh, you know, protection of digital materials, right? Digital rights management, call what you will, uh, and how that plugs into encryption. So, oftentimes, when you're talking about security, you're talking about securing the organization by protecting the technology it uses to, to achieve its mission. Uh, and a key part of that technology, of course, is, is intellectual property, the data, the files, uh, all that great material that you have and use in the organization to get some value done. Uh, but someone leaves, what do they have rights to, right? Someone copies everything down, what do they do? The insider threat, how do you stop them? A million and one things come into play that leads you to the following tip, which is consider where uh, to use encryption, protect your intellectual property, and file level encryption, and consider where to use digital rights management. Of course, digital rights management is huge, it's a beast. Uh, you can control certain portions of a file to make sure no one reads it. You can control certain actions, like can I save it, can I print it, uh, can I screenshot it, uh, can I email it, right? There's a, an entire list of things and actions you can do. Uh, as well as an audit trail. So when people do do these things, save, print, uh, screenshot, share, that they're tracked in, in case you need them from an organization perspective to demonstrate that misbehavior has happened or to you know protect the company from risk through a legal action, you have access to that information. Now there's some overlap with encryption. Obviously, DRM usually uses encryption. But some of the file level encryption solutions themselves offer some of these same uh, DRM functionality. So for example, you may say uh, only certain people can read this file because only certain people have access to the key. So you encrypt the file and you can revoke that key at any time so that people no longer have the ability to decrypt it, right? Um, then you can also do simple logging such as who opened up this file or attempted to open up if they don't longer have access to it, uh, where, from what device, uh, from what IP address. So you can, with encryption, do things like allow access or deny access and do the logging component. It's related, but it's not the same thing. But for many organizations, when we talk about minimalism, right, and the ability to do more with less and the ability to have security controls that just cover the risk, it's worth wondering, do you need a full DRM solution or can you begin the path with file level encryption and build out there? Only you guys know about the use cases uh, and the business case go from that perspective, right? What do you think, What uh, what's the overlap between encryption and DRM? Wouldn't you use one or the other? Give me up in the comments or in social media. Cheers.